Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Guard Tracks Online Learning and Troubleshooting Tutorial. If after participating in this tutorial you still have questions, please feel free to write us a note within our Fast Response Q&A section located on our website at www.guardtracks.com. We will respond back to you within 24 hours during normal business hours. Today's topic is RFID Tag Setup. You can expect to learn the following in this tutorial. How to set up your RFID tags. For this tutorial, you will want to be at a computer with a web browsing window open to your GuardTrax website dashboard page. From your dashboard page, click on the link for the name of the group where you will be setting up the RFID tags. In this case, I will be setting up an RFID tag in the ABC Security Group. Choose the POI RFID Tags tab on the blue bar inside the group. You have three options for RFID tags, Delete, Add New, or Assign Existing. Click on the Add New link. The choice of icon is defaulted to an airport symbol. You can change the icon, or you can leave it as is. The first thing you want to do is give your RFID tag a name. This is usually a short description describing the RFID tag's location. For this example, I will be using my desk as the location. In the description box, feel free to add a more detailed description about where the RFID tag is located. You can also add a phone number for the location if you like. We currently don't assign a type and status to the RFID tags. Now we want to geo-reference the RFID tag. This is done by typing in an address that is close to or exactly where the RFID tag is located. After you type in the address, click the Map Location button and the Latitude and Longitude boxes will populate. Go ahead and click the Map Location button again to direct the map to this location. Zoom in so you can see the area clearly. You are going to double click on the map in the approximate location of the RFID tag. Once you do that, the latitude and longitude numbers will get longer, indicating an exact location has been chosen. Now go ahead and click the Save button. Let's move to the additional settings button to set up the RFID information. There are three important items on this tab. You must first check off generate alerts. Then you will need to choose the correct RFID tag number from the drop down list of RFID tags. And finally you'll need to choose the map RFID checkbox and then hit save again. Without these three items completed your RFID scans will not properly appear on the map or in the reports for you and your clients. Now let's back out to the list of RFID tags. You can see the RFID tag I just created has been added to the list of RFID tags for ABC Security. Let me scan the RFID tag on my desk so you can see how it appears both in the recent alerts box as well as on the map. You can see the RFID tag scan has now populated in the recent alerts box. It appears as a purple balloon. You can also see it has shown up on the map in the same location that I clicked on earlier to set up the geo-referencing for the RFID tag. Every time this RFID tag is scanned, it will appear in the same location on the map. Note that in the alert section of the information pop-up, you can see it says Melissa's desk. This concludes our lesson on how to set up your RFID tags. Thank you for participating in the GuardTrax online learning and troubleshooting tutorial. GuardTrax, the number one guard tour reporting, accountability, and management solution.